it's done. Guys. Guys, hi, good morning. Happy Thursday. It's Thursday today and it's a quarter to eight and I'm starting a new vlog here. If you're new, welcome. I hope you like what you see and you subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. I hope you subscribed. If you're not subscribed, please remember to click on the subscribe button. And thank you guys for subscribing to those who have, for commenting and engaging me in the comment section. You know we love that. You know we appreciate that. So guys, today I'm being adventurous and I wanted to record. This is why I'm starting this vlog here because I don't want you guys to miss this. I am piercing my ears at home. I'm doing this so early because my husband is getting ready to go to work. So I asked him to do it for me. So I went and bought a whole ear piercing uh, kit so I'm getting second piercings I've gone and marked where I want him to pierce and that is what we are doing I wanted to record it and uh, <laughs> for you guys to see it I'm scared a little bit but I'm sure it will be fine so I pierced my ears this side at Lovisa about two years or so ago I had two piercings here and I had to take them out at some point because they just never healed. They just never healed. And it's because, um, it's apparently because, and it makes sense that um, they use a gun to pierce anything that you want to pierce, that they do pierce, all right? But because ikatilejla is quite, it's hard, okay? So the trauma to this area when you use a gun is too much that sometimes it just doesn't heal it's okay to use um sorry for the dog barking it's okay to use a gun in the soft um places but it's not advised to use a gun you know what i'm saying so um yeah i took them out and the holes are closed and that's fine but now um yeah i'm doing this so i bought this gun at china mall it was only 45 rands, you guys. And then I bought um, these sterile earrings that um, you get at chemists, wherever, at Lovisa. I think it's the type that they use as well if you want to pierce. So that's what I'm doing. Wish me luck. And uh, yeah, let's see how much pain I can tolerate. I mean, I do have a bit of a high uh, threshold for pain, I think. I believe. <laughs> so... Yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna sterilize. You don't know where this thing has been, China and everywhere. Probably. Okay. Ooh, Okay. Are you ready? Okay, so I watched a YouTube video, ne? Right? see what do you do? Uh, okay, so what you do is wait. What you do is, <laughs> and the lady I watched biggest balls. Yeah. Okay, so you cock it. It's called cocking, ne? Right. right? And then, and then, do you say something else? People are gonna think I'm talking to myself. And then, and then you put the earring like this, like this here. Okay, that's how the earring goes, right? And then, when you shoot, my ear's gonna go in here. You're watching, eh? my ear is gonna so this is gonna go in my, my ear is gonna be like this and then you shoot okay i think i want to sit though okay so i've marked my ear that's where the second piercing is going and then i've done uh, the same on the other side so uh, 
A hundred percent. Are you standing that side? Okay. Guys, guys. Hmm. Let me put some lip gloss on so that my lips don't look crusty. Okay. Ah, cha. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. 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 I thought I was in recording. <laughs> okay. Come, come, come. Buzzing. <gasps> what? I did it. Okay. Where's the stopper? <sighs> oh, cha. Okay, let's do the other one. Let's just do the other one and then we'll do the stopper afterwards. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> that was scary. Easy, ne? What else people are gonna think I'm crazy? I'm talking to myself. No, but I've been. Yeah, but I'm not in you are. Engage me. Okay. Ear number two. Send that Yeah, position. Like this? Yeah. Okay. I wanna see if it's recording. Okay. I did this at home okay i mean this if we're being honest this is exactly what they do at these places and then they charge you a uh, 250 rands or 300 bucks you know so um yeah i'm just gonna sterilize the stopper oh my goodness i did it i did it you guys my ears are pierced okay i need to sterilize my hands as well because honey Honey, we don't want no ear infections now, do we? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's put the stopper in. Ooh, cha. It wasn't bad at all. Really, if I'm being honest, it was not half as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, there you go. Let's sterilize you and wipe you clean i'm just sterilizing so i'm using this um sanitizer so you need to use something that's at least 90 percent alcohol and this is 99 percent this is 99 percent which is awesome guys so i'm just gonna keep these in um yeah that's it done and then these ones obviously i need to they're open already so ears pierced haha <laughs> haha guys get yourself a partner that wants to help you in life <laughs> he didn't want to but being honest he wasn't keen but thanks babe thanks as always gonna watch the vlog thank you uh yeah this is it guys let me just show you really happy with that i'll see you guys um when the power comes back i want to make myself a nice hot lemon water have a drink and then I want to do, let me show you what I want to do later on today. I told you I went to China Momos to buy a few things and one of the things that I got was this. Sorry, I'm just gonna be out the frame for a little bit. So I went and bought these beads, these big ones. If you can see, I got this whole pack for 70 rands and then I got this yarn, this cord, it's called a cord, um, which, um was only 15 rands so i want to do a table deco thing 
um, I'll show you, I'll insert a picture right here so that you see what I'm trying to do. So this thing I want to add it onto my coffee table. I don't know how many I'm going to have left of these beads. If I do have any, I'm going to make one for the uh, bookshelf. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys how I do it. It's simple. I'm just going to feed. I'm going to try and make my own tassels at the end. I think that's the only difference. So, so if depending on how much I have of this, this is 10 yards. I don't know what that means. I don't know how long that is, but I'm going to try and make tassels. If I can't make tassels, I'll just make a string, just a normal um, string of uh, beads and then make one for the coffee table and make one for the thing, for the which one? bookshelf. So yeah, let me just tidy up, um, wait for the electricity to come, to come back. It's eight o'clock. It should be back in the next 10, 15 minutes. And then uh, we get moving with the vlog. I'm just trying to see if there's anything that I need to be telling you guys that I haven't told you guys. Just thank you, I guess. Thank you for uh, getting me to 500 uh, subscribers. And uh, slowly, you know, I'm not rushing this, this thing. And also to, um, to thank Auntie T who has been giving me so much love in the comment section and, you know, just rooting for me. And I just want to say... Uh, thanks to her and if you guys are not subscribed to her channel which I think you should be by now please go look for Tandim Zamo on YouTube and subscribe get your life guys if you're not subscribed to Auntie T's channel I don't know what you're doing with your lives okay um yeah so yeah we uh, hit 500 and uh, yeah, so we are on the road to 1000. I really am not putting too much pressure on myself. I'm just gonna do what I do. I'm just gonna keep my promises to myself. And if they, if they I don't like using the word manifest, but if they, the results um, of me committing show up as people subscribing to my channel, I'm, I mean, grateful, you know, I'm happy. But for me, this is really a journey. I'm not rushing anything, you know, easy come, easy go, you know, type uh, mentality. If that's the type of mentality I'm trying to have here because if I'm going to rush and want like uh, things to happen like this um, on this channel, then I think I'm going to crash, which I don't want. Creating vlogs is not an easy thing. It really needs uh, you to be dedicated. It needs time. It needs uh, thought. So it can be something that you are rushing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to rush this thing, but I am really appreciative of where I am. It means a whole lot to me. Like to think that there's over 500 people who've committed to watching me just live my simple life. That is a big accomplishment for me at least. And uh, yeah, so guys, I will see you later when I do what I do. And let's see where this vlog takes us.
no time to waste anymore. I need to be living my life to the fullest and I need to be living it, doing things that I like and enjoy, you know, that make me feel like I'm contributing something into the world. So, and I remember I was watching a lot of podcasts. I was, I mean, sorry, listening to a lot. Yeah, watching some podcasts on, on YouTube and listening to a lot of podcasts. And, and what I realized is that the different thing that I did this year was, I do listen to podcasts every now and then, but not as religiously as I did last year, especially. The different thing that I did this year that has brought me so much peace, it, it doesn't mean that because I have peace in my life, everything in, in my life is going smoothly, ne? like everything is smooth sailing, it's not. But the difference is that this year, so last year I was listening to a lot of podcasts, self-help stuff, and the problem was that I was taking those, the things that these people were using or these things that these people were saying in their podcasts that they were using in their lives to make their lives happy or to feel to feel like they are living in their purpose and i was trying to implement those things in my life and they didn't work for me because we are different as people right and i would feel so much frustration and anxiety and feel like i'm just living and there's no purpose in my life this year i decided you know what i'm going to surrender my life to god as in i god says in his word we should not worry we should not be anxious about anything but instead pray about everything and I said, this year, I'm going to surrender my life to God. Every single day, I'm going to wake up and surrender my life, surrender my day to God, my family to God. Every single day, I'm going to seek him first in my life. I started doing this in January. Man, the difference I'm feeling in my heart, the peace. I was saying to my husband, you know, I, I don't have a clear picture of where my life is going, but I definitely have peace in my heart, you know? Like, I, I haven't felt an ounce of anxiety, an ounce of worry about my future, about my purpose this year so far. Some may argue that it's early and I'm maybe celebrating too early, but I don't believe so, you know, because I feel like I'm seeing God work in my life. And um, I'm saying this to encourage whoever is going through a tough time <laughs> because honey, life is a, it will make you go, okay? But I want to give you hope and say that God is there, you know? Don't, don't take matters into your own hands. Do what you can, yes, which is pray and tell God your plans and, and seek God, you know, spend time with God. Make sure that you seek him first in your life and like take time in your day by seeking first. How I'm doing it is every day from 5 a.m. until half past five, it's my quiet time with God and I pray, I read his word and I, I dedicate my life to him for that day like i'm doing it each day as it comes i've seen a huge difference yo I, i'm gonna pull my manga i've seen a, a big difference and i know that it's the kind of peace that i could never bring for myself <laughs> it's definitely nothing i could ever do for myself but i know that it's god and man i'm just grateful you know i'm just grateful that i feel like i'm on the right path just the fact that i've got the peace that god promised me in in his word that surpasses all understanding that you you don't quite know exactly where your life is going but you know you've got peace in your heart because you've given everything over to him yeah i just thought i'd share that with you and uh i mean the devil did try us this past december i spoke about it in one of the videos where i was a little bit i didn't go into it too much and i don't want to go into it at the moment either but i did mention that we had a crime incident happen to us um in december just after christmas actually on the 26th of december but and it's it's an incident that took our peace away you know like it, it took our peace away as a family but we declared psalm 91 over our lives and we said god even during the time when that thing happened, I saw, I saw God's hand in, in the situation. You know, some may argue that, you know, God wasn't there because why did that thing happen to us? But God, I saw God's hand over us. 
guys i really did one day i will talk about it when we've completely healed um but yeah I'm just saying that to say, you know, God is there. God is alive. You know, God is for all of us. If you need anything, if you need peace, if you need direction, if you suffer with anxiety, whatever it is, ask God to help you in your journey. And I promise you, he will. Guys, this is how much I've done, which I think should be enough. Um, yeah, let me, I, I should have about, about 40 of these things in here you can either leave it like this just tie knots here which i think this is what i will do i don't think i'm gonna do the tassels actually i think i'm just gonna tie a knot tie two knots on each end and then just leave it as is and then it should be good to go Okay, I think I'm vibing with this one. I'm vibing with this one. Um, yeah. I'm watching Zizi <laughs> uh, while I do this. So, yeah. Okay, let's see how we can do this one. So, the plan is to put it on, on the books, you know. So, this thing is not as easy as I thought it would be, yo. bit of something there. I like it. And then um, I think I turned around here. I think I'm gonna leave it like this guys. Yeah. That is my bookshelf and my coffee table done. Yeah. I think I'm happy with this. I like this. I've been thinking of this for so long. This idea. Yeah. Okay. Cool guys. That's it. With this little DIY.
let's do a little unboxing. Ooh, wee. <laughs> Let me mute Zizi. Let's do a little unboxing from my China Mall trip, honeys. Um, yeah, so many nice things at China Mall, guys. Like, if you are looking for winter stuff, um, they've got beautiful things. I mean, if you are in Joburg and you can access China Mall, go there. Don't be scared. Let me just fix this camera or bring it closer. There you go. Cool beads. All right, so start with this cute little cardigan. So I went and I got this cardigan from one of the shops there. I thought this was very, very cute. Um, very cozy, very warm. Um, I think it was, do I still have a price tag? I don't. I don't remember how much it was, guys, sorry. That's the first thing that I got. And then I got body suits from there. Um, these were 110 rands, if I'm not mistaken. So cute. So I got these body suits. I loved the neckline. This is what they look like on the model. And they're giving, um, you know, those um, Zara body suits, which I have. I think I have, I have two. I have two from Zara and two from Mr. Price. And yeah, these are quite stretchy. I just, more than anything, it was the, because the difference between these ones and the ones from Zara and Mr. Price are the neckline and the sleeves. So the other ones have got no sleeves at all. So I got it in this color and I've got another one in this beautiful purple color. Love the color, love the neckline. So, yeah. That's what I got, number two, 110 rounds I did say. And then I got obviously the piercing gun. My ears are doing fine guys, hey? Like there's no pain whatsoever. And then, I feel like there's something, oh, I got this thing from there as well. I got this from there, I got the beads obviously. And then I got um, this, um, juicer um it was 35 rands it's a lemon orange juicer thing squeezer whatever you want to call it i am so sorry um yeah so you your lemon and you pour it out of that and let me just show you my tripod that i bought and then I got myself this little tripod from there. Very sturdy, very proper. <laughs> Not like that other nonsense I bought the other time. And then I got the phone holder for the car. Because sometimes I want to vlog while I'm driving, but I can't because I'm trying to stay safe on the road. So that is what I got from our friends at China Mall. And uh, yeah. That is it for now from me, guys. I need to figure out what I'm going to cook. It's half past one. Gessie is going at two, coming back at four. So that's fine. No stress. I'll have enough time to cook. Yeah, boy. Um, so, yeah. That's that from me. Mm. Mm. That's it from me, guys. I will see you later when I see you.
Hi guys, welcome to day two of this vlog. It is a Friday morning, gloomy Friday morning. It definitely feels like a winter uh, morning today. We are on our way to do a quick top-up run. Just need some milk and bread. The kids are home, school holidays. So yeah, it's still very early. It's only 10 a.m. And yeah, we need a few stuff in the house. I was lazy to go yesterday to go get the stuff. So I have no choice today but to do it. So yeah, and I wanted to today on my agenda, I want to paint my pot uh, for pots for my plants. I have like the normal black pots that you directly put your plants in. I don't have money to buy like actual nice pots, the ones that I want for now. And I don't like the black ones because they also have like patches of paint and scratches on them. So I decided to paint them in the meantime, just, you know, for the aesthetic to go in the house. So I need to get a paintbrush. I have some paint at home and that is what we are going to do later today. And yeah, that's it for now. That's all that I can think of. I actually like the weather today. It's very nice. It's very cool. It's not cold. It's just nice and cool. Yeah, but it's the kind of weather that you just want to cozy up in, have a nice cup of coffee, watch some TV or read a book, you know, that kind of weather. Uh, so yeah, guys, it's Friday. We are entering into the last week of March next week. And that is that. The only thing is that the Sunday, we have a death in the family and uh, so we won't be going to church i think we'll be going to the funeral on sunday that is uh, the only thing that i can think of about my weekend coming up yeah do i park upstairs or let me park up here for a change start because i want to go to the atm first withdraw some cash and then go buy my things. My turn, but thank you. Okay, yeah, guys, we shall chat, I guess, when I am uh, done or when I'm painting. I don't know where to park because these people are painting the wall. Okay, let me park here. Yeah, so let's get in quickly, do what we gotta do, and go home to the kids, make them breakfast, and yeah. Be on with our day, Shabazz. very hungry having my oats quickly with some chia seeds mm -hmm.
I got my brushes very cheap. I could just tell you to leave that cheap little things, but it's okay. They should do for what I want to use them for. Not bad. They'll get the job done. Hi, Lulu. What workout did you do? Arms. Yeah, so we're painting a little later, not now. Yeah. In case you're wondering, I don't put sugar in anything that I eat. I don't put sugar in my coffee, in my cereals. Any sugar that I eat is sugar that's already inside a product. So, and if I'm being honest, it's helped. I think it's helped quite a bit with um, weight maintenance because everything that we eat already has so much sugar in it. So if you can avoid having sugar, then you should try and do that. So I don't put anything like no alternatives, just I just go commando condensal literally none whatsoever. So yeah, the kind of sugars I'll have it's like fruit, it's natural sugar, the body can process it easier. The other stuff I try and stay away from. We don't drink fizzy. So like here at home, we don't drink fizzy stuff. Our children don't touch fizzy drinks. Um we will drink, of course, they'll have juice at school. We'll have Oros, which also has a lot of sugar in it. But, I mean, I can't not give them anything. I have to give them something. That's about all that, um, that they have. Um, so the sugar, when we buy, like chocolate and stuff, like we don't buy sweets at all. The type of sweets that we will buy will come in a form of chocolate. So we'll buy two big slabs. And we already know in a slab of uh, Cadbury chocolate, we each get two rows of three. So you get six pieces of chocolate. And yeah, there's four of us. When Tato is home, obviously it's a different story, but we all end up with two rows of um, chocolate and we don't keep any chocolate at home. So we buy as and when we feel like chocolate, you see. So it's helped quite a bit, especially when you have, you know, when you have children, you don't want to deprive them, but you don't want them to have too much of the bad stuff. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so when we feel like having, we'll have. We just don't keep in the house because temptation. Also my earring, my piercings are going so well. I uh, was able to sleep very well last night, no problems whatsoever. So I'll keep monitoring and I'll tell you guys if it's giving me any problems because the kids also want to pierce, but I said, let me pierce first and just have them on for a few days and see how it treats me. If it's fine with me, then they can also go ahead. I saw on YouTube because I researched how to pierce your own ears at home. Obviously the algorithm will then suggest other videos related to that. It's not recommended that you pierce with a gun, really. I said previously because of, um, so when you pierce the hard parts, that one is obvious, but also even with, um, you know, the soft parts of your ears, it's not quite recommended, but I mean, like it works. I know Lulu pierced at Lovisa. So I pierced her when she was a baby and they used the gun at a chemist and she had her second piercings at Lovisa because it was on the earlobes. It was fine because like I said, it's, it's just meat. There's no cartilage or anything bony. You know what I'm saying? So we shall see. Lonobo also wants to pierce. We will see how everything goes. So if mine goes well, then they will also pierce. He says he wants two. How many you want? One, one piercing me. You're a boy, bro. Okay. One piercing. One piercing. You wanted two. Mm. You wanted two. Mm. Okay. He wants two piercings. Yeah. So let me enjoy my breakfast and then I'll catch up with you guys when I'm painting my pots. I'll show you what they look like. I don't like what they look like. And.
stays in enough so i bought another pack and then our rolls which i bought earlier from checkers i don't know if you saw that and then i'm gonna i usually just add onion and egg and cheese to our burgers so that's what i'm gonna be doing so i'm just gonna start with these and put them in the oven but guys i'm not gonna show you like i said i will see you guys tomorrow i think maybe i'll show you just a little sneak peek of what the burger looks like in the end but yeah this is what we're having for dinner made any plans for the day it's just me and my lulu we started watching love is blind yesterday last night we watched two episodes season what four season four and it was so interesting can't wait to sit the boys are out to go cut their hair and stuff so we're gonna sit and be cozy on the couch with my girl and watch some um love is blind let me just show you quickly guys my handiwork that i did yesterday okay i went wild like me and paint should not be in the same space because i end up doing things in azazna let me just show you quickly tell me what you guys think it was black and boring and this is what it looks like now and two others also look like this I don't know i like it <laughs> i really went wild but i like it let me let me know what you guys think i think it's better than the boring black one yeah so yeah that's what i did yeah so it is couch time and love is blind time <laughs> oh don't mind my mask with my lulu say hi <laughs> yeah, we'll chat guys.
someone had a haircut, come. Come say hi to my vlog, show them how handsome you look. Come, Kuba. <laughs> come, you look so handsome. Oh. Ah, Lulu, don't be jealous. Don't be jealous, please. Mm, and it smells nice. You look so handsome, baby. Can you see yourself? Mm -hmm. You like the cake, the hair? I'll trim it in a wood trim on fun. It's beautiful, right? <laughs> okay, bye. Hi guys, happy. Why am I looking so thick? I'm sure it's this mirror because, honey, what's going on? <laughs> Look. Guys, hi, good morning. Let me get you closer. It is today, Tuesday, and I am uh, getting ready to go do my nails. It's 10 to quarter to 11. My appointment is for 11 o'clock. And um, yeah, I'll have a little chat with you guys in the car because I need to close this vlog off and I need to um, just bring you guys up to speed as to why. Um, I didn't vlog, so I last vlogged on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I didn't vlog. I'll get you guys up to speed um, when I'm in the car. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna close this vlog off guys i will see you later let me grab a quick cup of coffee and then be on my way i can't get over just how thick i look at wait a minute i haven't been on a scale in a long time one thing i will say also is that i've been eating whatever i feel like eating but i've also been consistent with my workouts and um like i'm not stressing like I'm not stressing, my weight fluctuates quite a bit, so that's fine. I'm just surprised, I didn't think I'm looking so full. <laughs> okay guys, let me grab a quick cup of coffee, be on my way, and then I'll, I'll find a time to talk to you guys and then we'll close this vlog off. Um, yeah, so cheers for now. Guys, Molwen, happy Wednesday. First of all, I'm here to close off this vlog, okay? I need to say that first so that I remind myself why I'm recording this clip right now. So yesterday I said to you guys I was going to talk to you in the car and explain to you why I've skipped days from vlogging and... <laughs> I just did not get a chance to do it yesterday. Yesterday I went to do my nails. Let's start there. I did like a half Frenchy thing. So some nails are French, some are plain, and some are like designed, whatever. Happy with that. So let's get to the point of this. So what a weekend roller coaster of emotions type weekend I had. So the last time I vlogged was on 
um, set Saturday, right? So Saturday, it's a beautiful day at home, whatever. Wuti Friday, your corner. I sat and I talked to you um, guys about just how much of a stress-free, worry-free, anxiety-free year I've had so far. Ne? Bookmark that. Fine, Saturday is a good day. Everything is fine. Sunday morning, I did mention earlier in the vlog that we were going to go to a family funeral on Sunday. So we are up already um, with plans of preparing to go to the funeral, right? My mom calls us at 6 a.m. She calls my husband crying. My mom um, tells us that um, something happened to my brother and uh, she was rushing him to um, the, the clinic. This is Sunday. Unfortunately, it's another crime-related incident. Fine. Um, we, as a psychic, is not Geza. We rush and we go to see my mom. We meet her at the clinic with my brother. They, um, having attended to my brother, I see him. He's looking, you know, quite, like quite, I don't know what the word to use is. But he's not looking like himself. Fine. We sit, we spend the day, we're doing the whole clinic thing. And then um, the clinic says they, we, we, we're going to have to wait a little bit be before they discharge him because they want to monitor him and whatever. Fine. And then later on, they decide, no, he's, he has to go to hospital. So he goes, he ends up going to the hospital. We go meet him at the hospital and they attend to him and whatever. But... Um, this was on, on Sunday. So Monday, we still were not sure of how serious his situation is. Um, it sounded like things were going south in as much as we thought it wasn't a big thing. It ended up starting to look like it was actually a big thing. Then the worry that I was talking about where I was saying I didn't have it, the anxiety, I didn't have it. On Monday, I was a wreck. I was a ball of emotions of anxiety, of worry, and I remembered, I remembered, which you know what, the devil is trying me. Just on Friday, I was talking about how good God has been in my life this year, how God has shown himself in my life now that I have surrendered everything and decided I'm not going to handle anything uh, by myself, I'm going to hand everything over to God. And every single day when I pray, in my morning prayers, in my devotional time, every single day without fail, I pray for my brother. I pray for my whole family, but I pray for my brother. I individually mention the people that I'm praying for, especially in my family. And um, I was reminded, Gutaiman, why are you trembling? Why are you letting this guy... Akshugumise, why are you doing that? Did you not just say how big God is in your life and how great he's been in your life? Don't do that. Don't do that. I went back to my prayer room. I prayed. I was like, God, please help me. I know you, you even in this situation, you are present. You say, God, to seek you first, to surrender everything. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm seeking your face and I'm saying, may your will be done in this situation because I know that. Your will is never to harm us, but to prosper us. This is what you say in your word. And I said, God, you said, if we ask, when we ask, when we seek, we shall find. When we ask, we shall be given. Father God, I'm pray I prayed. I prayed. I was like, God, I will not let the devil take me back. I will not do that. It is Wednesday today. My brother's situation is getting better. God is good. God is no man that he should lie. Trust and believe that when God says he's there with you, he is with you. So I have been feeling down. I have had to take time out. I have had to sit in the situation, in my emotions and just, you know, go through them. This is the only brother I have, guys. It's just me and him. I'm the eldest. He is my younger brother. 
I was really in my feelings. But God is good. I'm here to close off this vlog. But I'm also here to tell you to trust God. I'm also here to tell you to believe that um, things are working out for your good, even the things that don't seem like they're working out for your good. I thank God that my brother is recovering. He's not out of hospital yet, but he is much better. And uh, I am feeling a whole lot better. And I trust God to continue to do a good thing that he has started, that he will see it to, to completion. He will finish it off. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Please remember to like this video so that it reaches a lot more people and we can have more people join our beautiful family. As in, I appreciate all the love and support you've shown to this channel so far. I will see you guys on the next one. Love you guys. Bye.